Hi guys, I'm Andy Crowley. Welcome to day five of this 10 day guitar starter course where we're going to be looking at a new strumming pattern and a little melody for one of the great songs that are fantastic for beginners. It's just got two chords in it and this is Ooh La La by The Faces. You may not be aware of it so I'll just give you a little playthrough of the two parts that we're going to go for but I think you're really going to like it. Younger, I wish that I knew what I know now When I was stronger So that's the chorus and that's the little rhythm part and then we have this lead part That can be played just with your first two fingers. So absolutely fantastic for beginners. So those two chords I just played were a D major, played from string four, and an E minor, which is played like this. So E minor is essentially just an E major chord, but we take off your first finger and it's just those two notes there. But it can be easier to play that with your first two fingers. So that was the E minor I played before, E major with our first finger off. But it can be easier just to use your first two like this. And the strumming pattern that I used was playing the root note, so the lowest note of the chord, otherwise known as the bass note, um, and then strumming, which I kind of nicknamed Bob Dylan style folk strumming. So that's root note, the D, and then strumming the thinnest four strings. And we do that um, four times of each. So it's two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then change to the E minor, where the root note is now, on the thickest E string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that just repeats for the whole song. So one, two, three, four. So let me give you some tips and help you play this bit first and then we'll play that melody towards the end of this video. The quick links are in the description below if you want to skip to the single note part. So here's our D chord played one two, three, standard D major, fingers on an angle pointing towards your strumming hand kind of shoulder, and then we pick the root note and strum, and that's one, two, three, four. When you're doing the single string pick, you want to make it just a wrist motion, so just moving the wrist and keeping the forearm still, and for the strum, just kind of flick everything away. So flick downwards, slight movement of the arm, but still the movement is at the wrist as well. So just to focus on the strumming action, pick just the wrist, strum, just kind of let it flow down, but as small a movement as possible. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And staying on those thinner strings will really help to get this sound. I'm using a pick and picking string four, Strum, four, strum, one, two, three, four. And then we change to the E minor chord and we then pick the thickest string and strum. Three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's have a play of this together. If you can't keep up with me with the single note, just go for a normal strum every time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four change chord there, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it should be nice and straightforward this one. Everyone should be able to do this, even if it's one of your first ever songs, but try this Bob Dylan style folky pattern if you're up to it. So let's play that together now really slow. 
In two, three, four. Root note strum. Three, four. One, two, three, four. E minor. Thicky string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to the D chord. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. E minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's repeat that really slowly and I will sing the words just so that you get how the verse and the chorus work together. Exactly the same chord sequence and then you'll be away to practice this straight after this video. Let's play together in one, two, three, four. One, two, change chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, change to D. D, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we start the verse. Poor old granddad E minor. I laughed at all his words. D, I thought he was bitter man he spoke of women's ways keep it going back to the d the trap you then they use you e minor before you even know d is blind far too kind don't ever let it show chorus same thing d chord i wish that i knew what i know now when I was younger, I wish that I knew what I know now. When I was stronger, and pause there. From there, it is just a loop from exactly what you've done. So if you could keep up with that fantastic job, if you couldn't, pause this video now, have a quick practice, then rewind and have another go along to me. But we're going to move straight on now and move uh, onto the lead line, which kind of follows the, uh, the chorus pattern, at least in a rhythm point of view. Wish that I knew what I know now When I was younger so for this little lead line, we're going to start with our first finger where it normally is on the D major chord and pick that note, which is the third string, second fret, represented as two in the tab above. And then we play that note three times. One, two, three. After the third time, one, two, three, four. We go with our middle finger to fourth fret and we're going to try and play this whole thing just with our first two fingers, okay, to make it even easier. We're going to go with your middle finger to fourth fret of that same string. One, two, three, four. And remember when you're placing your finger at any fret, it wants to be at this side of the fret area, not at this side or in the middle. We want it right up there and the middle finger right over here, not in the middle, still staying right on the tips of our fingers, staying like this, rather than being really flat. We're not holding a guitar, we're playing notes, so we need to bend that first knuckle like this. Again, one, two, three, four. Then we go back, the fifth note is the same note we started with. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Let me move my pick into shot so you can see it. Two, three, four, five. Then we go fourth fret, but this time on the fourth string. So on the thicker string. And then to the open. One, two, three, four, five, four. Zero, four, zero on the D string on the fourth string, this one here. If you want to play it along with me, join in. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Da -da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
fourth fret to zero. To end that little section, it's a two, second fret of that same D string. Those last three notes, one, two, three, one, open string, second fret. From the top, three, four, Three, four, and that's certainly the main part. That should be recognizable if you listen to the song as that particular song. This is what a riff or a lead line does. It makes a song recognizable. A little bit slower. Three, four. And then the last part of this riff, middle finger, uh, fifth fret this time. So this on mine, I've got two dots, and this second dot is the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. At the fourth string. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one. At fifth fret, fourth fret, and second fret. One, two, three, one, two, one. So there's a little bit of sliding goes happens here. Two, three, to first finger. One, two, one. Now there, when I'm sliding from, uh, well, when I'm moving from fourth fret to second fret, I never lift off the string, but I do lift off the fretboard. So I'm sliding along the string, but I'm not squeezing. You can see my thumbs over the top, we slide and then press down again. Press here, slide, relax, press down, but never letting go of the string. One, two, three, one, two, one. So from the top, this would be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one. slowly now last time let's play this together give this a really good go guys this is towards the end of the video this is the last thing we can do this from that first finger where it would be on a d chord here we go in two three four end part one two three one two one and again three four Stretch-wise, if your fingers are on an angle, it will be easier. Or you can go with your third finger for these notes. For any of those higher ones, if you prefer. But we always want to start on first finger at that second fret. Very last time, guys. Here we go. One more time. We'll do the riff twice. In two, three. There's our song. So that lead line goes over the rhythm part that you've just learnt. To copy the rhythm part exactly as I did in the intro, we do up, down, up at the end. So pick, strum, pick, strum. One, two, three, up, down, up.
Now that does make it much more difficult because that's where we change code. So I'm not expecting everyone to be able to do that, but if you needed an explanation of it and a demo, here it is one last time, really slow. Three, four. The best thing to notice on that one is it's on the last upstroke that I lift off to change chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, up, down, up is where we change chord. That's a little chord changing trick for you. Up, down, up. It's on the last upstrum that you lift off your chord and that means we're there. We can arrive on the next chord. Your fingers are down for beat one. That's absolutely the most important thing when changing chords in rhythm guitar, if there's an upstrum on the last uh, beat of the bar, so on four and, or even later than that, make sure you're lifting off your chord for that last strum, and it's the coordination of that that will improve your chord changes. And that is the end of day six. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, the idea now is that you'll practice this for a further 10 minutes, along with the other songs that you've done over the last days and the last few days following these videos. And then join me tomorrow for day six, when we're gonna be looking at some minor chords and some finger style picking in another song. So it's gonna be without a pick the next lesson tomorrow. So it's gonna be really great for a lot of you guys Wanting to, uh, wanting to learn acoustic guitar, play some more intricate stuff with your right hand, but still great for beginners. And I hope to see you there. Please subscribe if you're enjoying this course so far and wanna check out the rest of my videos. The link is down below in the description and on the screen now. Uh, hopefully I'll see you again in one of my videos. Take care of yourselves guys and bye for now.